What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix Google Chrome's black screen. So if you've got a browser open like this and you'll see a full black screen just like this, then I'm going to show you how to fix and resolve it. Now, why does it happen? There's many different reasons why this happens. Could be a bad bit of code, could also be a corrupt browser. It also could be extensions or loads of different reasons for that. And I'll show you some of these fixes that you can do. So first off, go into your C directory then into users then go to your user account in my case mine's called change me yours will be whatever your user account is go into there and once you go into there you want to look for app data now if you don't see app data it should be some sort of translucent color folder if you don't see it then you've got it hidden go to view options change folder options here and then go to view again and you should see show hidden files folders and drives once you put a dot in there click ok and you will then see app data go into app data and then go to local inside local what you're going to do is come down to where it says google hit on google and inside there we're looking for chrome click on google chrome and then this will open up your user data folder Inside your user data folder, we're going to be looking for shader cache. Now, inside your shader cache uh, folder here, there will be a load of files. So I'll show you this here. This is your GPU cache. Sometimes this gets corrupted inside here, and you'll get a load of data inside here. And basically, this can get corrupted and cause a black screen. So what do you do about it? Well, it's pretty straightforward. You can delete the GPU cache here, delete the whole folder, and restart your PC. The folder will be repopulated as soon as you open your browser and your problem should be rectified. So I'm just gonna delete this and then go ahead and restart your PC. And hopefully by doing this, it will resolve your issue. If it doesn't, then I'll show you some other things that you can try. So just hit the restart button. Okay, so this opened up our browser and hopefully yours is resolved. If it's not, then go to the three dots up the top right hand side and go to settings. Once we're inside here, what we want to do is pull all the way down to the bottom here. Once we get down to the bottom, we're looking for the advanced button here. Click on advanced. This will take us to another pane here. We can pull all the way down. And what we're looking for is hardware acceleration. Now, sometimes having a hardware acceleration on can cause a few problems for some unknown reason. And uh, just toggling this off, sometimes fixes that problem. So just uh, relaunch once you've done that and hopefully that problem has been resolved. Okay, so let's move on to the next one here. Now this is where people like to tweak uh, their Google Chrome. So you can see up here, Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Inside here, you've got some in experimental settings that people like to play with. And if you start playing with these settings, it can mess up your browser. So if that is the case and you have been tweaking inside the flags area, then you may want to reset all those back to default to see whether this resolves your problems. I've seen quite a few tutorials online telling people to tweak things inside here to make it faster, to make the internet faster. And again, it can cause problems. So just go up to the reset all and basically click on this and it will reset all of those settings back to defaults and hopefully that will resolve a lot of your problems. Hit the relaunch button and hopefully that fixes uh, the black screen. Okay, so let's move on to another thing that you can try is going into settings here and going all the way down to the bottom and then click on advanced. All the way down the bottom here, what we're looking for is restore settings to the original default. Sometimes doing this will resolve a lot of your problems. You can click on reset your settings here now, bearing in mind, this may lose data and cookies and all that sort of stuff as well, and your login details to make sure you have those to hand, otherwise it will remove all of those as well and all the history. So just make sure you have those backed up. Next up, we're gonna go to the three dots and then go to more tools and then go to extensions. Inside here, you will have a bunch of extensions. Now, if you've reset your browser, these will have all been removed. But if you haven't reset your browser and you didn't want to do that, you may want to try and remove all of these extensions. Because sometimes 
having extensions or too many extensions can cause a problem. So you want to remove all of these by just clicking on the remove button and see if that fixes your problem. Maybe it's a, a corrupt extension that you're using that is causing that black screen. You can always reinstall Google Chrome as well. That is a last ditched hope and hopefully that will resolve all of your problems and make sure you're downloading and using the latest version of Google Chrome. With that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this has been useful. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.